Hi, I'm Laura Nappi, and I am a radiation therapist. I've been a radiation therapist since about 2015, and I have an Instagram and Facebook group known as Radiate with Laura and Radiation Therapy Students on Facebook. I also have a YouTube account, and I've created resources for students. Now, on these accounts, I've gotten a few questions uh, often that I'd like to answer so that more people can hear. So let me pull up some of the questions. So first, why did you decide to be a radiation therapist? So I didn't even know what a radiation therapist was until I was in school to become a radiologic technologist. So I started off as an undecided major in college. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to do something in healthcare, something science related. And so what I did was shadow a doctor in a hospital. And as he did his rounds, I learned about radiology and I really liked it. So I shadowed someone in radiology and I found that it was really intriguing for me and I really enjoyed that. Then when I was in school for radiologic technology, I learned about radiation therapy. And I figured that the science that I was learning from radiology that I really enjoyed, I could now implement to help somebody treat their cancer. And that sounded really cool. So that is why I got into radiation therapy originally. And I'm really happy that I did. Next question. What is the most rewarding part of your job? So like I said, we're treating people with cancer. And although it sounds like it can be very sad, it's also really rewarding in that sense. You're helping somebody through a really challenging time in their life that they have never been through before. They don't know what this large machine that looks very scary is. So you are there to educate them, to help them through this treatment and to kind of just be, well, like a friend also. And you learn about their life, you learn about their family, they learn about you and they feel like you're helping them. And it's really rewarding to feel like you are helping, which we are. What is the hardest part of your job? So the hardest part is when patients aren't doing so well, if they're in pain or we see them often, then that can be really challenging. Although yes, you're still helping them and it's still really rewarding, but you want to see them do well and not come back or not be feeling so great. So that is a hard part of the job. But overall, for the most part, we're treating a lot of patients with stage zero, stage one, stage two cancers. So um, it's a very fulfilling and it's a very good role to be in. Is your job stressful? And then how do you handle the stress and demands of your day? So the job overall, I would say is not stressful. However, it can get stressful if it gets really busy uh, we have a lot of patients on a schedule. Maybe somebody calls out. We have a lot of uh, charts to do. We have a lot of scheduling to do. There's uh, there's a lot of other parts of the job besides treating the patient. Sometimes when there's a lot of those other tasks to do, it can feel stressful. Uh, it can also feel stressful if... But one thing about this job is that when you leave the job for the day, you don't have to take any work home. You're not doing any extra things outside of the hospital. So it's a little bit different than other roles. Like, uh, I don't know, my like business or something else, like when you might have to do more work at home, this one, your job is at the hospital. When you leave, you don't have to take anything with you. So in that sense, it's not so stressful. And it's overall not a stressful job, it just can be. And that might depend on where you're working and uh, how, many patients they treat. How do I ma manage stress is a great question. <laughs> um, I like to exercise to manage my stress, including going for walks and lifting weights um, and just having a good work-life balance, spending time with my family and my friends when I'm not at work to maintain that healthy balance. What are your greatest skills as a radiation therapist? And what are your greatest weaknesses as a radiation therapist? That's challenging. Um, my greatest skills as a radiation therapist is that I am open to learning. At least that's what I think. Um, hopefully everyone else agrees. So I, this field is evolving a lot. There's a lot of technologies that we need to learn often. So to be able to adapt and learn is a very good uh, strength to have in this career. I also... I'm very willing to learn. I like to go to those trainings to be on top of it and then also help my coworkers when I can. 
And the other question was, um, what is my greatest weakness as a radiation therapist? And I think that my personality type is actually um, shy. I come out of my shell a lot since this role. In the beginning, it was really hard for me to talk to patients because I didn't know what to talk about. I am not one to talk very much, although I'm talking right now. Um, but I'm not a good, I don't like to start conversations often. I like to listen. But as a radiation therapist, that's what I like to do. I like to ask questions so that they can tell me things and answer about themselves instead of me talking about myself because it's not my favorite thing to do ever. So it is a weakness, but I've definitely learned a lot through the years. What does a typical day at work look like for you? Now, this might depend on the shift I'm doing. So if I'm the morning shift that does the warm up, we can start as early as 6.30. So I wake up around 5.30 and get ready, go to work. I live close by. And at 6.30, I start running my QA. So we run the energies. We do imaging QA, aligner T QA, um, and then a few other checks. Once that's done, I will do our charts for patients' charts. So every time a patient starts treatment, we check their chart twice. We do a prep and an initial, we call it. It's called something different in different hospitals. Um, so I will go through those, check our billing over, and then our first patient will start at 7.30. And we treat every 20 minutes or so, depending on the treatment type. Most 3D MRT cases are 20 minutes at a time. SBRT could be 30 minutes and SRS could be longer. So we have a mixture of those within the day. Uh, if I'm doing a late shift that day, it depends on what time we are treating until, and then I'll go in eight hours prior to that. And I come in and I make sure all the charts are checked for that day. And I will finish up anything that the morning crew wasn't able to get to. And we treat until we're done. I go home, I have some dinner, hang out with my family and watch TV and relax and maybe work out. If you had to start over again, would you choose the same career? Why or why not? If I had to start over again, I would choose the same career. I really love this career. I think it's a great career. I recommend it to so many people. I advocate for it, I feel like, online. I try to encourage and educate others on it. So I think it's a good career as far as the rewarding aspect of it. It's really rewarding. And the stress comparison, I think, is worthwhile. I don't think there's a lot of stress. There can be times of stress, but I think every job can. But I think it's pretty low in comparison to other jobs that I've heard about. I've not experienced them, so it's hard to say. Um, but from what I've heard and talked to others about, the stress level is lower. The reward It's rewarding. The schedule is pretty good, especially for a healthcare job. Typically, our Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. You know, that could be different depending on the hospital. Sometimes they're like 7 to 3. Sometimes we go later. Like if it's a big center, they might have later hours. But that might also work for some people. You can potentially do five eight-hour shifts or four 10-hour shifts, depending on where you are. There's flexibility there. Some places take on call, which is for emergency cases. So that's um, like typically over the weekends. If there's an emergency, you go in and treat that patient, which could also be beneficial to some because it's extra paycheck, um, extra money, I should say. But so there are are really great benefits to the job, especially being in a healthcare role and having the flexibility that many others don't have. And also the pay is pretty great for, especially for a healthcare role and in the radiology field, it's one of the higher paid jobs. So one, it's a job that I really love and then the job that has a decent salary. So it's a win-win and I don't do it for the money. And no, I don't think people should. However, if it adds to something, it, it helps. Um, let's see. What advice would you give regarding the classes and coursework requ required for this field? Um, so the classes and coursework can be challenging. It feels like a lot at one time, and it is a lot at one time. It's really important to stay organized. So however you want to organize yourself, whether it's with papers and binders or on your computer making folders of everything, I would really recommend staying organized and staying on top of everything. Try to stay ahead as best as you can. Like if you have an assignment due Friday, don't wait till Friday. 
try to get ahead of it as much, much as you can. Maybe spend your lunch breaks doing your homework or dedicate a few hours each night to do homework. Make sure you make a schedule for yourself um, and then try to stick to it. So if you set like an hour to study for physics tonight, an hour to study for procedures tomorrow, that might help your brain not feel so frazzled and overwhelmed. It can get challenging, but it's short term. Remember that and remember the end goal, which is to become a radiation therapist and it's worth it. It's really worth it. And it's, it seems like you're in it forever, but then when you're done, it feels like a short amount of time. If you, maybe not everyone would agree with that, but I feel like my schooling was a long time ago and I would highly recommend just to work through it. Everyone else feels the same way as you do probably, and it'll go pretty quickly. What advice would you give regarding, oops. Do you have any advice on standing out as a desirable candidate in a competitive job market? So as a student, you are going to clinical sites or hospitals or centers to learn, but also to work as well. Like you're interviewing every day that you're there. So you want to act like you're interviewing every day. You don't want to just show up and be in the corner and learning and observing. You're going to get hands-on and ask questions, get as much information as you can, and prove your work ethic as well. I think showing how hard you will work shows, as a student, as, shows how you will work as um, a therapist. So it's important to show your work ethic at the same time, which can sound overwhelming, but once you start to get a little bit more comfortable, it can be more doable. Now, to stand out in, on top of those things, you want to make sure you're showing up on time, you look presentable, you're acting professionally, and that you're friendly and approachable to both the patients and the radiation therapists. If a, an employer sees how hardworking you are and how well you blend in with their team, you're going to be more likely to be considered over somebody that they don't know. They want to hire somebody that they know, somebody that they've started to train, like as a student, you're being trained. So it will make the process a little bit more seamless. And ask questions, ask what you can do while you're there to help. If, if they see that you're putting that extra effort, it's gonna go a long way. But overall, I hope that all of these tips help make it easier to transition through the schooling process and as uh, into radiation therapy. And so I wish you the best of luck. And feel free to reach out if you have any more questions.